The Ukrainian armed forces have captured four more settlements in the Kursk region south of Sudza. This is the conclusion reached by BUILD open data analysis expert Julian Ropka after studying video footage of battles in the Kursk region. According to his information, the Ukrainian armed forces took the village of Cherkaskaya Konopelka to the south of the city of Sudza, as well as the village of Plekovo, the village of Kurilovka, and the farmstead of Dmitriukov. The Ukrainian army has captured Cherkaskaya Konopelka in the Kursk region, according to multiple Russian sources. This capture is consistent with the fact that Plekovo, Kurilovka, and Dmitriukov around are under Ukrainian control, which is visually confirmed. The village of Ulanok remains under Russian control for now, Robka writes. Ukrainian forces will find it challenging to hold positions in the cursed region of Russia, which can be attacked from multiple directions. The duration of their hold will determine the number of troops Russia will need to redeploy from the front lines in Ukraine, reports the New York Times. The New York Times cites the views of two experts, Major General Mick Ryan, a senior fellow for military studies in the Lowy Institute's International Security Program, and Serhi Kuzan, the chairman of the Ukrainian Security and Cooperation Center, an independent research group. They suggest that Kyiv will need to expand or hold its gains in Western Russia long enough to compel Moscow to redeploy significant forces from the battlefield in Ukraine. However, analysts believe it will be difficult to maintain a position that can be attacked from multiple directions. Kuzan highlighted the vulnerability of fixed Ukrainian positions to Russian airstrikes, noting that such a situation immediately prompts the use of aviation, guided bombs and ballistic missiles. At the same time, U.S. officials say that Russia has withdrawn some infantry units from Ukraine to the Kursk region. However, they have not observed the Kremlin moving armored battalions, which the U.S. believes will be necessary for Russia to counter the invasion. Russian politicians and officials are very alarmed by Ukraine's cross-border incursion, according to Vertska's sources. A source from the Moscow mayor's office told journalists that panic is growing among his colleagues. He compared the situation to the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. That also seemed like it wouldn't last long, but it turned out to be a long-term thing, the source said. Initially, Moscow officials believed Russian forces could end the attack in two or three days, or a week at most, but this proved false. The incursion is now in its second week. In the first few days of the offensive, the source said the lives of the city's political elite didn't change much and the Kursk region wasn't a major conversation topic. But on August the 8th and 9th, they said, we got scared. It was during that period that reports surfaced of a burned out Russian military convoy being found near the town of Rilsk. Members of Russia's political elite began closely following the news from Kursk, actively sending each other posts from pro-Kremlin war correspondents a senator close to the Federation Council's Defense Committee told Verstka. The Defense Ministry says one thing, and we publicly relay that, but meanwhile we're all reading the war correspondents who are tearing into General Staff Chief Valery Gerasimov and saying we weren't even monitoring the situation in the Kursk region for the first two days, he said. He continued, It's reached the point of absurdity. We don't even know who destroyed whose convoy. By the looks of it, they destroyed ours on August the 8th and we destroyed theirs on August the 11th, but you can't make heads or tails of it. According to the senator, the mood among the authorities has become very anxious. At the same time, he said, the reported rise in the number of enlisting contract soldiers has been met with cautious optimism among his colleagues. In his view, the increase shows that people want to defend the motherland. They understand that the enemy is on their territory and not only on the new territories. Another source with ties to the Russian parliament said that officials are alarmed because Kursk is less than 500 kilometers from Moscow. The fighting is very close. People are suffering and evacuating just a few hours' drive from Moscow, he said, calling the situation more alarming than the one in the Belgorod region. Additionally, Ukraine's new offensive could eventually result in criminal cases against civilian officials and security and military officers for allowing the breach. Two sources familiar with the situation told Verstka. Another consequence of the incursion could be an indefinite delay in the peace negotiations between Russia and Ukraine, a source in the Russian parliament told.